these are just some miscellaneous designs. I, I was doing some illustration because I like Metal Metroid so much from the back of the book right here. I decided, you know what, maybe I can do something that kind of gets that same vibe. So while listening to the music, I decided why not I try something that looks like a Metroid and has the M and M together. So it's something like that. As you can see over here, we have uh, kind of the initial development for what later became the Special Forces Messenger Bag. So from here I kind of get some, uh, some ideas from what is Metal Gear Solid and kind of converted it over, kind of just kind of playing with what's going on. And uh, later on, pull it in the computer and clean it up. Over on this side here we have the Kraken design, which later became um, the Kraken Polo, which uh, may be out, not sure yet. but. This is kind of playing with the idea of how the Kraken should be oriented, how it should be sinuous, which way, where the tail should be, fire, etc. So messing with that, uh, that's where the design is, and I think it ended up right here. This is the initial illustration we had for what uh, is or should will soon be known as the Mammon Polo. Uh, this design right here is something that uh, it was definitely cleaned up very heavily in in Illustrator in the computer but uh, this is where it started out kind of looking at different ways of to express uh, what is known as the mammoth machine so there we have that what we have here is the Halloween Fun Fest 09 original sketch uh, it, it, I had the idea pretty well in my head I just kind of wanted to refine it Nothing's ever balanced when I do this, these illustrations, but I make sure when it's turned over to the computer, it turns out really well. So, in the end, I want to make it metal, I wanted to make it mean, I want to get the Chimera to be intimidating, and eventually it turned out to be something like this, and uh, I think we, uh, we took out the, the little crazy nerves uh, that we had. That if you look on the Chimera sprite, you kind of see a little bit of that, but we took it out, made it cleaner, made it more crisp, we, we thought it was unnecessary, but it turned out really well. As you can see with this design, this was kind of the initial sketch that we had for the key pole for the Snowwood hoodie. Uh, it, w it was originally bent to kind of play off the idea of the bent key when we went to Snowwood, but we decided to go ahead and straighten it. I mean, people want to bend the key, they can do that on their own. But that's the initial sketch for that. So, a snowflake, the wood, and the teeth. So, that's how that started out. With this one here, this was a design for one of the, uh, the Chimera pin set pins and pretty much went on the vector from there. Now here, here's where the Darko Men jacket development started. Reed wanted to do a motorcycle jacket, a really kind of bad A theme, one like a big old crazy kind of uh, beast on the back. So I was looking at a lot of motorcycle jackets. I saw they had these huge eagle wings and these kind of themes. So I said, why don't I do something with Lavos? Because he has all these crazy needles we can play a kind of on that wing, wing theme. So this is where the original illustration that we started at. And then we started with different banners, different ways to pull out the needles from Lavos. And uh, from there, we went on to more development, kind of pull, you know, playing with that idea even more, different iterations, and I think we kind of just merged it and eventually, and what you see here is not what we have done in the Darko Men jacket, but uh, one of these sketches helped that and later it was tweaked in the computer. So. And we were playing with the idea of 124 is when Lavos rose and all that kind of stuff, 1999, all those different kinds of themes. So we were just playing with those ideas and um, seeing what uh, what came of that. But you can probably notice this. This is the same sketch we used for one of the pins in the F pin series. So just a little quick doodle, trying to see what, how that would look. Now this is something that we didn't use this past year, but is the ho is the holiday or AKA the winter uh, fun fest for 2009-2010. Uh, so this is a, a Yeti or a, a tin uh, a tin Yeti from Mother Three, and as you can see, got a nice little banner here. He's old as plank of wood that he surfed down on. A little snow bunny. Thought it turned out really nice. It's actually, the vector version is a little more cut, like a wood cut. So definitely had a better better looking feel uh, in the end uh, in, in, in the final version. So. Now these are sketches where some of you may be familiar with is for the era patch or sorry era sticker set. Uh, this is kind of the original it's really messy but it's more of a technical thing that you would achieve in the computer so kind of just getting a general idea of how things would be laid out I kind of pulled this in 
and this later became the Triple Tech sticker. Uh, some of these other designs you're probably not familiar with, but they were, other, they were also part of that same development. This is about the Blackbird, and this is about um, the Masamun, if uh, I'm probably totally mispronouncing that. But it's the idea of uh, for some, for something from the 600 AD era. So yeah, that's uh, part of that dev. This is uh, part of that same set. We have the Johnny Jet Bike emblem, how that started out. That was scanned in, type vectored, cleaned up. A little time guru action with uh, the lamppost. And uh, the little, little uh, illustration here for, for, it was Magus, I believe, yeah. It definitely was cleaned up much better in the illustration. Not sure if we're gonna use that design yet, but you know, just kind of exploring ideas. Some things, not everything is used. Some things are just kind of put off to the side, off to the side for later usage. So yeah, and this was the sketch that we initially sketched uh, for the uh, for the gate key to kind of get a good perspective for the people who meant that. To kind of see what's going on here, how is that curved, where is that connecting and certain cross sections to make sure that uh, they can understand when they're minting it how it's supposed to look. So, The final little sketch here is the initial illustration for the Fan Fest. Uh, this is kind of rough. It always will change from, the, from when it's drawn to when it goes into the computer. So this is just kind of the initial idea for that and probably what you see of that will, uh, will turn out or is uh, something different from this so well, that looks like it's it all right guys thanks for watching catch you later until next time hey everyone this is john k lead designer john k She has an outtake. <laughs> I don't know.